So welcome to week one Quizlet. It's FHS Ukulele Fall 2020. Here's the link to join. I'll also be sending you an email invite if you have not already signed up through the Google Classroom. You'll see two card sets in this week one. Week one beginner lesson and week one intermediate and advanced lesson. So let's go to the first lesson set. You'll see different activities you can do. <clears throat> For each of these activities that you complete all the way through, you get 10% extra credit bonus points for the week. So you could get 70 for each set. If you do both sets, that'll be 140 extra credit participation points for the week. And I'll tally them up at the end of each of the weeks. Fridays, we'll do this live game. Everyone participate. You won't get any deductions if you don't do very well on it, but you'll get bonus points if you are the top three winners. So let's go to the flashcards. So we're going to, let's go back here. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. And let's press, press the play and go through the, them. Okay, so that's a C major chord. Next chord, A7 chord. You could actually bar this whole second fret for that. D7 chord, G7 chord, C7 chord, F major chord, what string is it with the X over it, G string, what string is that? your C string. What string is that? E string. What string is this? This is your A string. What is it called when you play three or more notes at the same time? A chord. What is it called when you brush down or up and play all the strings at once? A strum. The smallest ukulele. Soprano, second largest ukulele, concert, third largest ukulele, tenor, fourth largest ukulele, baritone, the ukulele that is a bass, U bass. Picture of the lines representing the strings of the ukulele are called tabs. What does this mean to do? Play the A string four times. What does this mean to do? G, 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 G. All the open strings four times. Okay, so nice work. And you can go back. So you can do the next, you can do either of these activities and it it's self-explanatory. Well, let's go back to the other card set. So the intermediate and advanced lesson card set. And let's go to the flashcards. And we can press the play. And letters in the music alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All 12 notes of a scale that are half step apart. Chromatic scale. Chord shape that you move around. It's a movable chord grip, B and C, E and F, small tool, capo, what's that chord, C sharp major, what is this chord, D major, what is this chord, D sharp major. What is this chord? E major. What is this chord? F major. What is this note when you pick it? B. What is this note when you pick it? C. 
What is this note when you pick it? D. What is this note when you pick it? E. What is this note when you pick it? F. I put in lowercase on that string. What is this note when you pick it? F sharp. Lowercase. What is this note when you pick it? G. Lowercase. What is this note when you pick it? A. Lowercase. What is this note when you pick it? G sharp. What is this note when you pick it? D. What is this note when you pick it? And G sharp on that string, I underscore it. What is this note when you pick it? A underscore capital. What is this note when you pick it? B. What is this? The note names on the fretboard to the eighth fret. So go ahead and study these at your own tempo, at your own pace. And I can also go to each of these different card sets and I can find out the progress of each of the students as you're going through these, these lessons. So here at the bottom, I can go to the class progress. So I'm going to view the progress here. I click on it. So I can tell if you've done the activities because it'll have the name of the register, whoever signed in to Quizlet and joined. So we have Elijah, we have Paul. Anything that you see in the bold here has been completed. So you can see that Elijah has done the test and Paul has done all seven of these activities and this is the beginner lesson. Then I can go in and check the intermediate and advanced lessons as well and you can see Elijah has done the match and Paul has completed all seven of these. So you can see Paul will get 140 extra credit points at the end of the week and Elijah if he just has these two will get 20 extra credit points for the week. So good job. We have three members and we like everyone to sign in here. And this is to help you study and get some extra credit points and also know what we're going to do for a game that we play on Friday. So good work everyone.